Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about string efficiency and what are the methods to improve the string efficiency. So guys, uh, if you want more such videos, please do subscribe my channel Electrical Hub. In last video also we have discussed about the potential difference across the string of the suspension insulator and this topic is also related to that only. So let's begin. So what is string efficiency? When voltage is applied across the suspension insulator string, it is unequally distributed across the individual unit. Means the voltage across these discs is unequally distributed. And the disc nearer to the line conductor is extremely stressed and it takes the maximum voltage. Means the disc nearer to the conductor. As you can see in this diagram, the disc nearer to the conductor is maximum stress, carries maximum stress and also it has more voltage. So, string efficiency can be defined as uh, it can be defined as the voltage across the whole string divided by n into voltage across the unit adjacent to the line conductor. So, which can be defined as N S is equal to capital V upon small n into V one, where capital V is the voltage across the whole string, n is the number of discs in the string, V one. Small v1 is the voltage across the unit nearest to the conductor. I will explain this in uh, terms of diagram. Okay, So, you can see this capital V is v1 plus v2 plus v3. That is the voltage across the whole string. Then n will be the number of discs. That is, suppose uh, there are three discs over here. 1, 2 and 3. That is n, small n. And uh, small v1 is voltage at the uh, voltage at the disc nearer to the conductor. Means the voltage over here. That is... Uh, called as string efficiency okay string efficiency is an important consideration since, since it decides the potential distribution along the string the greater the string efficiency the more uniform is the voltage distribution this hundred percent string efficiency is an ideal case for which the voltage across each disc will be exactly the same although it is impossible to achieve hundred percent efficiency but we should make efforts to improve the string efficiency you can see from this uh, definition of string efficiency that the voltage across the unit adjacent to the line conductor should be reduced means if this is reduced then only the string efficiency will improve means it is inversely proportional to the voltage across the unit adjacent to the line conductor means the voltage between the disc should be kept uniform so it will affect the string efficiency means the string efficiency will improve So next is the methods to improve the string efficiency. How we can improve the string efficiency? There are three methods by using longer cross arms, by grading the insulator and by using guard ring. So let's begin with, with the first method that is by using longer cross arms. You can see in this diagram, a cross arm is applied over here between the tower and the line. So that the distance between the shunt capacitor is increased. Now I will explain you how uh, by using the longer cross arm the string efficiency can be improved. The value of string efficiency depends upon the value of K. Now this the K factor I have also discussed in last video where K is the ratio of shunt capacitance to mutual capacitance. Now you can see also in this di diagram see this K is nothing but this is mutual capacitance and this is self capacitance and k is equal to the ratio of shunt capacitance upon mutual capacitance okay so we know that the lesser the value of k the greater is the string efficiency and more uniform is the voltage distribution the value of k can be decreased by reducing the shunt capacitance so now the point is we have to reduce this shunt capacitance so as to improve the string efficiency. So this shunt capacitance can be decreased by increasing the distance between the tower and this disc. Okay. So how we can increase the distance by using longer cross arms. In order to reduce shunt capacitance the distance of the conductor from the tower must be increased. So we know that there are some limitations of cost and strength of tower which do not allow to use a very long cross arm. So uh, we have kept a, uh, in practice we are using k is equal to 0.1 that is the limit that we can achieve by this method. So this was first method of 
so to improve the string efficiency let's see the second method second method is by grading the insulators in this method insulators of different dimensions are so chosen that each has a different capacitance the insulators are capacitance graded that is they are assembled in the string in such a way that the top unit has the minimum capacitance see means this top unit will have minimum capacitance and as it goes uh, downwards the capacitance will increase as we know that the voltage is inversely proportional to the capacitance so as increase in capa capacitance will decrease the voltage nearer to the conductor so as to keep the uniform distribution in the voltage between the disc so that the uh, voltage will be uniform in all the disc so this is the point for using the grading insulators okay so to keep the uh, voltage uniform so as to improve the string efficiency this is the second method now let's let's discuss the third method that is by using guard ring as you can see in this diagram a guard ring is placed and uh, so the potential across each unit in a string can be equalized by using guard ring this is the guard ring which is a metal ring this is metal ring and it is electrical connected to the conductor this is electrically connected to the conductor as shown in this figure the guard ring is controlled in such a way that shunt capacitance current i1 and i2 is equivalent to i1 dash and i2 dash the result is that the same charging current flow in both the unit of the string so that there will be uniform potential difference uh, sorry uniform potential distribution across the unit as the current flowing through these units will be same there will be uniform potential difference flowing through both these unit this is the third method that by using guard ring how we can improve the string efficiency so this is all for today's video if you like my video please do subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon and thank you for watching